Now, one of the most exciting things I want to show off is some of the Gemini tools that have come to meetings. Now, what we do is pretty much by default with every single meeting that we run in our business is we switch on automatic recording and we switch on automatic note taking with Gemini as well. Enable those in the admin panel or if you just want our team to do it for you. Obviously, if you're a concierge customer, you just flick a message off to the team and they'll get these policies set up for you. But let me show you what it looks like when someone joins a meeting late because if you've enabled Gemini notes for the meeting, people can now jump right in and they can actually choose to get a catch-up summary of the meeting after they've joined the meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and join the meeting late now as an additional person and maybe I'll use companion mode so it doesn't have audio switched on. But you can see here in, in the top right-hand corner, it says Ask Gemini in Google Meet. It's giving me my first little prompt here. But if I click on to the Gemini button, which is in the top right-hand corner, you can see here it's got some prompt questions that I can ask Gemini. Now I can say catch me up on the meeting. I can say what was just discussed. Let me click on catch me up. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a summary of all the things that have happened in the meeting so far before I joined. Here we go. It's began with a welcome. Purpose of these sessions is to help blah, blah, blah. All right. So it's taken all of Gemini's notes and it's given me a little catch up. Now, the other thing I really like for this is, you know, sometimes when we're on a meeting, we get a bit distracted or I don't know, maybe we tune out a little bit and all of a sudden, oh damn, I've kind of missed what was being said in that moment, right? So now you can click onto the Gemini button again and you can click what was just discussed and it will give you a summary of the last two minutes and let you know exactly what you just discussed. And that really helps for that awkward moment if someone says, so what do you think about that, Peter, after a long monologue and you have no idea what they were just talking about because you tuned out. <laughs> That's really great for that. So you can also ask custom questions. So let's say, give me bullet points of what's been covered so far. It should be able to respond in real time. There we go. So now it's given it to me in bullets. And I might even ask, give me a list of action items that need to be addressed for this meeting. I don't think there's any action items, but let's just see what it says. Okay, yeah, there we go. Ownership unclear, so it's unclear who needs to do it. But if you're curious to explore, you should be putting questions in for the Q&A. There we go. So Gemini is doing a really great job of this. One of the reasons that we use third-party note-taking systems for our notes in meetings, you know, there's Otter, there's Fathom, which is a really popular one. There's a bunch of other apps that will connect to your meeting and take notes in the meeting and then give you a summary afterwards. One of the reasons that we use those tools still is that Gemini hasn't always been perfect at giving immediate answers for like, what are the action items? What are the key takeaways from the meeting? But bit by bit, where all of these third-party tools have built features that Gemini hasn't done so far, Google are building those into Gemini one by one. So all of these cool features are available native. When you use the Google tools, it means that you don't have to worry about a third-party app. It means you don't have to worry about another set of licenses for your team. It means that you don't have to worry about managing logins or deprovisioning another app when someone leaves the company. So my philosophy is always, as much as possible, use the Google tools for everything. Try and Google everything in your business. Sure, there may be some cases or some staff that still need to use a different add-on to get more done where Google doesn't do things natively. But as much as possible, if you can get it done in the Google world, it's a lot less headaches for your IT management for your business. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.